I don't know. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we gotta do this one. Let's try it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and click on the thing. Let's start with uh, this. And then, yeah, gotta take this. Oh, oh, that requires tools. Oh, we gotta cut it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. And then pull that off. Right. Uh, oh, oh, come on, tools. There we go. And pry that off. Uh, there we go. The tools. And pry that up. Uh, oh, down here. Okay. And, oh, we have more tools. Come on. Go and pry that up. Uh, click that. And more tools. And, oh. <laughs> All right, that one. Okay, we just pull that. We got to do, wow, complicated piece. All right, pull that off. And are we done? Or is there more? I'll bet, I was going to say, I'll bet you there's others. All right, and then click that. And pull that. And okay, more of that. I'll bet you, I was going to say, there's got to be others. Oh, and there's even more. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, more tools. And boom. And is that done? Yes. And let's go to here. Wow, complicated piece. Cool. Uh, oh, more. Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. Pry that open. And this. Ah, <laughs> All right, and more tools. Wow, okay. Complex piece. All right go all right is that it and okay looks like that's it so let's go ahead and put everything into their respective locations looks like we've got a lot of sanding to do except except that don't have to worry about that wow a lot of sanding to do though uh powder sander or a power sander and then it's all gonna go into varnishing Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the power sander. And let's... Alright, and... Okay. And then over to the sanding block. And we have a lot of sanding to do here. But yeah, it looks like, I mean, Christmas is going to be coming up here pretty soon. Um, it's looking like uh, this year, um, it's just going to, let's see, as far as I know, um, I'm just going to need to uh, buy for my kids, uh, for my daughter's husband, uh, my grandchild. And Cherub. And then I guess just whoever whoever just sort of pops up on the radar, I, uh, radar, I guess. Because that's all I can think of right now. I'll probably get something from Mama Bear. Probably buy her a game or something. Because I usually do. Oh, Diamond already uh, uh, is already going to get her present. She gets turkey bones. <laughs> Uh, or steak bones, or or whatever other kind of like bones we end up with. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna paint up here. Ha ha. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because Diamond is not really a, a dog toy kind of person. Er, person, dog toy kind of dog. Um, it's just not her thing. She doesn't get into toys. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I could buy her a new leash. <laughs> um, I mean, she doesn't even like, like the big rawhide bones. She doesn't like chewing on those. Um, they're really, I mean, it's hard to buy for diamond because she's mostly just a very laid back dog. She doesn't really like toys per se. 
So most likely what uh, what will end up having uh, happening for Diamond is that she'll get turkey bones or steak bones or whatever it is we end up doing. <laughs> or get her, yeah, get her a Costco chicken. <laughs> She'd love that. Get a get her a Costco rotisserie chicken. I tell you what, she has gotten spoiled um, because uh, because of her surgery, we had to increase her protein intake, uh, and we had to kind of make let her take it easy, and so uh, she has gotten used to. Uh, having chicken <laughs> instead of her normal snacks. Um, well, she doesn't really need to be spoiled anymore. Um, and so I'm trying to wean her back to her normal snacks, and she's just kind of going, Dad, what, what, what are you doing? Dad? What are you doing? I, 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 no, chicken! <laughs> it's like, it, have your snack. This is this is not chicken. <laughs> why why are you handing me this stuff? This is not chicken. It's like no, j j j Diamond, get, have your you know have your snack. I don't want snack. I want chicken. <laughs> All right, looks like that's it. So we get to put this whole thing back together. All right, let's start there. There. Oh, not that. There. Can't do that. All right. How about yes, do that. Nope. That, and that, and that, that, uh, this, there we go, um, how about that, uh, oh boy, um, oh, okay, that, oh, what am I missing, oh, this, this, put that on, put that on, put that on, there we go, complicated toy! But that was very fun. All right, take that, and we're definitely watching the uh, the, uh, the 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 spin around for this. <laughs> Heck yeah! How much did we earn for that? Five hundred and thirty. Nice. And a thousand experience. Oh. And that puts us into a museum. Oh, we can start doing museum now. Oh, but I want to. I want to do some of the journeyman stuff. I've been doing the apprentice. I want to do some of, some of the journeyman stuff before we get into the museum toys. So let me do some. Uh, oh, what is this? What is that? It looks like a clock tower or something. Okay, black powder. Let's go ahead and get some black powder. Uh, and it's powder, so it's this. And one, two, three. So let's go back to the project, to journeyman. 890. Show me that money. Wonder how complicated this piece is gonna be. Wow. Okay, uh, pull that off, grab that, pull this off, grab the individual pieces. Oh, okay, nope, gotta have uh, tools for that. All right, and yeah, I had a feeling we were gonna have to do individual for this. So I'm gonna start with these outside pieces first. Grab that, try that off. All right, uh, hmm. Why do I, yeah, I was gonna say, why do I get the feeling? Okay, pry that off, and there we go. Use the tools, pry this off. All right, do we have to do more? Okay, maybe just that. And there we go, and unscrew that. And then, <laughs> Oh, oh, and there's more here, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, then take this. More tools. Here we go. Is there any more to this? All right, there is for this. What do we have to do?
I can't, oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I can't take those off. Pull that, and... Boy, the ang... Boy, the angle to try to grab this is, like, crazy. All right. Oh, no. grab it. Grab it. There we go. Oh, my gosh. That was difficult. Okay. Get out of this. Do we have any... We do! Oh, my. Oh, wow! Okay, we got a lot of pieces here. Okay, uh... Oh, boy. Once again, we're doing this weird angle thing. It's like, okay, so how does... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, the angle, uh, the, look at this. It's like, it's wanting me to grab down here. I don't, ah. Now what's with your, <laughs> make up your mind game. Okay, it's early access, it's beta. So we can, we can be forgiving. All right, uh, okay, nope, nope, there. And there we go. Okay, I think that's it for that. Damn, are you kidding me? We have to do each individual wheel. No way. Uh. All right. Man, can you imagine how complicated the museum pieces are going to be? That's going to be insane. <laughs> and can you imagine the master quality of this? All right. Come, oh, ah. it, it would be nice if, it, if the controls weren't quite so fiddly, but uh, like I said, it's early access, so it's kind of... It, it's, it's absolutely forgivable. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some of these pieces so they're not in the way anymore. Um, so it's it's definitely forgivable. It, I mean, we're in early, uh, we're in like early access. So, you know, not everything's going to be perfect. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, why? Come on, you little jerk. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. And then back out. And the final piece. <clears throat> Come on, and pull that, click on that, and pull that. <sighs> okay, get out of that, click, click, and click, click, and is that all? Okay, we have a lot of work to do. So, what do we start with first? Uh, victory, vibratory tumbler, I think maybe we'll start with vibratory tumbler. And we'll go ahead and flip that thing on. All right, and then from there to the sand blasting, and oh, do we actually have to do this 15 times? Damn. <laughs> We're not even to museum yet. This is just journeyman. <clears throat> All right. Although I love the I, I love the the different tools um, and, and the different uses of them. I mean, can you imagine being like the people who were like the first pioneers of of this kind of restoration stuff where, you know, you were like, you know, people were coming to you and saying, can you restore this toy? And having to basically come up with all these unique little things in order to oh powder coating <clears throat> in order to restore this stuff um i think that's really i don't know i think that's cool um because somebody somewhere was like man uh i gotta paint these these little things here but you know i can't be using regular old paint because regular old paint won't work uh, I gotta be able to, you know, I gotta be able to put some sort of, like, coating on this thing. Hey, what if we tried powder? 
you know, oh, well, if we do powder, I guess we could use brushes or, hey, there's this technology where we can incorporate air and it can be, you know, sort of like airbrushing. And I just think that's neat. I, I like how, you know, somebody somewhere was doing their job someday and thought, you know what? I can do better. I can do this better. I'll bet you there is a way to be able to make this so that we can use XYZ to do it. And they used their ingenuity. They used whatever. Maybe they used the parts in the, in the shop they were working on. Maybe they just improvised something at home. Maybe they... Uh, maybe they just imagined it in their heads and went to a, an engineer and said, Hey, engineer, I have this idea. Can you build this? Who knows? But uh, it, it just... The, if there is one thing about humanity that makes me still re uh, keep having hope for the future uh, for the future of humanity it is that i do believe that the just the sheer hum uh, human engineering and human imagination and human creativity uh, i i think that is probably one of the greatest strengths that humanity has and i just i don't know i'm always fascinated by how, you know, like somebody was working in their shop one day and just said, you know what, maybe there's a better way. And it, you know, it's, it's the United States that really does embrace that kind of ingenuity and doesn't just stifle it at a, uh, uh, like at a hand, which a lot of countries do. A lot of countries just say, you know, the, if, if it's, if it is good enough for, for, you know, for our ancestors, it's good enough for, uh, for you. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, it's, you know, it's good enough for you. Ah, stop that. Then it's good enough for you. And, uh, hello. Uh, there we go. And, oh, there we go. Grab that. Uh, it, it really is, you know, American ingenuity that got us where we are today. So, I, I just... And it's one of the reasons why I'm I'm a little sad at, at a lot of the a lot of the directions the United States is going right now, because um, I think in a way they stifle that ingenuity that, um, you know, it, they they say they say they do certain things in the, you know, with the intention of we're doing it in order to allow imagination and creativity. But what they really end up doing is nothing like that. And it's, I don't know, it just seems a little sad to me. All right, so let me click on all these bits and pieces. No, that's not, that is, uh, that is, and that is. Uh, there we go. And yes, and yes, 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 yes. And yes, yes. Yes, and yes, yes, 890 bucks. We're definitely getting the, uh, getting the spinny thing for this. 100%, we earned this spinny thing. Very cool, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and turn in that project. Bam, there you go. That gets us some more money, some more experience. Is there anything else that I'm just going, ooh, I want to do this? Um, I mean, kind of. I would like to be able to, to, oh, I could, you know what? I could do, well, we could do a car and a train and finish those up real quick. Uh, there's a car right here. Well, actually, there's, uh, are these considered cars? Or this? I don't know what these are considered. They look like cars to me. Morning, Peter. Let's do this one. This one definitely looks like a car. So we'll buy the original materials. This is 1,150. Show me that money. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? So we'll start with the tires. 
and we just pull those off tires and pull those off and let's whip this around tires pull that off tires and pull that off uh okay right here uh tools okay let's undo that and tools oh no we just okay oh, oh come on there we go and right there and pull that off okay uh oh okay do the door need some tools for that <clears throat> screw that all right and i met oh oh no way okay i need to pay attention to the the individual pieces on each individual piece okay that requires tools i wasn't looking at that so I, i'm gonna have to go back to those other pieces at some point all right and there and unscrew that and i, I was gonna say i need to be looking at every individual piece Oh, and that I noticed it was missing. I'll bet you that uh, that that's one of the pieces that that, that I had to buy for original parts. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, oh, 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 boy! It's r some of these parts are so fiddly. All right. Send those to the washer, but there's I'll say there's still a piece. There's still some pieces. Oh, oh, or maybe not. Maybe, maybe that particular piece, uh, maybe that's one of the original parts. It, it's like I'm missing that original part. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we need to start with cleaning. Let's go with cleaning here. All right, and let's do some more cleaning over here. Turn the water on and scrub. We've got a lot of scrubbing to do here. Because uh, these... Each one of these pieces needs to be individually scrubbed. All right. And I do like the attention to detail here. Um, I do like where they kind of just start you off easy, give you like, you know, hey, this is this is what you're going to be doing at the basics. I have to say the, pro the, the difficulty progression is working for me um, in, in, in for this game. I do think that they handle the difficulty progression. Oh, that's right. We got to turn that on. Um, the difficulty progression is logical, and I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I, I do like how they, they do the difficulty progression. Um, uh, because even though some of these are more difficult than others within the same bracket, like between beginner and, um... Uh, you know, like uh, several levels of difficulty within beginner, several levels of difficulty within apprentice and that kind of thing. I actually do like that because it sort of challenges you at the level you're at and kind of starts getting you used to what you can expect later. I think that's really, really clever. I like that. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the, with this game. Um... The Turquoise Revival, I think, is really on to something here. Uh, okay, we're going to have to pull from here. I think their tutorial definitely needs work um, because I'm having to figure out a lot of things without them telling me. Um, if, if, we're good, if you're going to do a tutorial, you may have like a certain amount of things that you want people to figure out on their own. But there's going to be kids playing this, and some of them are just going to go, I don't get this. This is too hard. Um, I would create the tutorial and make it optional. 
Um, that way, for those of us who want to be handheld a little bit, we can get the handheld. And for those who uh, don't want the handholding, you can skip the tutorial. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are like, I don't need no tutorial, I'll just figure it out. Okay, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, that's your, that's your, your play style, that's your game style. My opinion has always been give both options, let the player decide. Um, because you can't please, you can't please every player, so therefore don't try to please every player. Just give both options and, and let them fight it out in the comments. I don't need no blah, blah, blah. Well, I need blah, blah, blah. Well, then that makes you a blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a blah, blah, blah. Let them fight it out in the comments. That's not for developers to worry about. For the developers to worry about is to create a game that will try to cover what your vision is while making it as accessible and enjoyable to as many players as you can. So... Uh, you know, I, I, that's 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 just that's just old lion's opinion here. Uh, I think we're done. I think we just need to put this bad boy back together. All right, so let's start. Can it, okay, uh, yellow, yellow. Oh, uh, nope, that's red. That's red. That's yellow. Yellow, yellow. And nope, not that. Yellow, yellow. Oh, come on, yellow. There we go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. All of the yellows, put that on, oh, uh, put uh, that on, uh, oh, okay, that's hiding, <laughs> that, that's not fair, um, okay, a little, Okay, the fact that I can't get over there to see what I can't click on, that's that's a little too fiddly. Right? Okay, there we go. Okay, this we okay, so we we need a way to be able to actually 3D our our a fly around to be able to see what we're seeing cuz that was that was really fiddly and I'm actually genuinely worried about future toys now. But yeah, that was good. We're definitely doing the 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 spinny. Got to do the spinny. Oh, I didn't do the spinny. <laughs> That's all right. Who needs spinny? Spinny thing is for people who like spinny things and feel like they've accomplished something. <laughs> I didn't feel nothing. <laughs> all right. Uh, so no more trains. Yeah, so we, we basically just moved on to this is the, the next level of neat nifty. So, developers, just a heads up. Uh, your next level was ten from 5 to 10 plushies. From here, it's from 5 to 20 cars. Is that intentional? Don't know if that's intentional. Uh, so, developers, if you were watching, pay attention to that. I'll go leave a, a note in the comment. I mean, a... I'll go to their Discord later and I'll send them a, a, a private message and see if that was it, working as intended. Anyone can be a monster, but I want to be a sweet light.